Yo guys, this is Reinhardt and today I'm gonna be trolling Blizzard and talk about a few things. Um, some people ask me to promote their channel, to like their videos, to give their video responses and I'm gonna to, uh, give you my part take on all of that. So, the very first thing my friends is time to troll Blizzard. The line. Hunters do a correct damage, Hunter Stampede does a correct damage now in Arena and Raided Battlegrounds. The correct damage. The, the, the correct damage. Oh, sorry guys, we fucked up for two months. But don't worry, Hunters does the correct damage now. Really? The correct damage took you two months to figure that out? The correct damage. Like, what the hell is this line? Hunters doing the correct damage. Is that supposed to us feel good? And they're like, oh, sorry guys, we're not blaming players. Oh, no shit, you're not blaming players. If there's some, if anything that could be legal, people will be using it. For example, it is legal to be a douchebag in the United States, so peop most of the people are douchebags. There's nothing wrong with that. But let's put it this way: the the correct amount of damage. We're not, and they're not blaming players. They're not blaming players. They they're blaming themselves for that. I I could I could see I could see them missing up on their beauty slip because hunters didn't didn't do the correct damage in arenas. I I could see them missing up on so much slip because. They were not doing correct damage in arenas before. Honestly, what the hell is this line is? Should have just said like, hey, sorry guys, we messed up. This is the thing about, I don't like about this. Never says, hey, sorry, we messed up. And just like, oh yeah, Hunter's doing the correct damage. I have people there. So, um, the correct, the correct damage in arenas. Correct damage. What the hell is this crap? You let people, mouth breathers, Hunters, who never were good at any class. Cap their ratings, sit there, be all happy, and also say, which is the funny thing is, they say like, oh dude, what the fuck, man, hunters are finally viable in arenas, are finally viable, and you want to nerf them to the ground. Viable? You freaking mother-breathing mongoloid. Viable? Globaling people in a cooldown is not viable. But if I pop my 7-minute cool defensive cooldown, you should pop yours too. The biggest problem is if you pop your 7-minute cooldown and I pop my, all my defenses, I still probably gonna die to your stumpy damage. Because it was not a stumpy damage, it was a stupid damage. The not correct damage, like Blizzard says. It is infuriated me, man. And then the funny thing is, the funny thing is, Hunters finally represent it. Bullshit! The Hunters are not one of the most fam uh, favorite classes for people to choose. They're not the most like, hey, I'm gonna be Hunter in Arena, go me. People don't like playing Hunters for some reason. I have no idea. I don't know, ask Sonic class to figure that dilemma. Why not many people play Hunters? But if you wanna say the Hunters were badly represented last season, just because their representation and participation was very low, you are absolute mongoloid. Here's the example, BlizzCon, Season 9, what happened to Hunter? They won a BlizzCon, PhD won a BlizzCon, what, Hunters are not viable represent for all the NOW tournaments and all the tournaments in general, for curse tournaments, who was participating? Hunters, who, uh, who's not played? They played, uh, they played, what, MLS, Fire MLS, and who did they decide to switch to, to actually global the shit out of the DK class against a massive team? They switched to Thackcliff. Why? Because Hunters are, were amazing. Who got rank 1? Stosin got rank 1. And he was like, yeah, Hunters are perfectly fine. He's even playing right now, Marksman, when the BM was OP, just because he has a pride in his class. So whoever's saying this man goes, Hunters are not represented. Shut the fuck up, okay? And learn the basic stats and learn to play your class. That's the better option than actually saying, I'm a captable and say, Hunters are always been shit, we're always underrepresented. Underrepresented doesn't mean, it also depends on the class participation. For example, everybody complained about Hunters more than the Warriors, and though, even though Warriors are uh, a little bit over the top right now, and not a little bit, a lot of uh, over the top, here's the thing, Warriors were not as scary as BM Hunters are, and BM Hunters had like really good choice of whatever comes they're gonna run but here's the funny thing about it you guys ready for it warriors representation was higher than the hunters why it was higher for like 20 25 percent why it was higher because a lot more players playing warriors instead of the playing hunters it also depends how many people play the classes so that's my particular and when the people say hunters were not uh, viable for a couple of seasons bullshit they were viable perfectly viable in season uh in cataclysm 
You know what? In season 7, PhD was a rank 1 camp. It was one of the most amazing camps. In season 8, that's back in the rest of Lich King. That's where I started peeping. A lot of people got gladiators as a PhD. And what about, uh, what's actually, African Turtle Cliff? It was a Prat Warrior and Hunter. Um, how about that? Hmm? They was always represented. What about Beast Cliff in Rise of the Lich King? Hunters were always very well represented, but the only thing required for it is to, to, to have some skills to press the buttons, my friends. So, if you're a mouth breather who thinks that BM Hunter was perfectly viable before nerfs, you know what, dude? I have a story for you. Because you're gonna be shit on by every 15, 1400 kid. And I also like one officer in Dara Maktar. He kicked my uh, he kicked my friend. His name is Brembro. Um, because Brembro said your freaking mouth breather got 2200 as a KFC, and you think you're freaking amazing in this game. And you know what? Right on, buddy. I'm, I got you back. So, with that said, with that said, yeah. Like, uh, sorry, I just woke up. I have like a little bit cold. Anyway, so that's me trolling the blizzard. What the fuck is this shit? The, the correct damage amount of time. And the most thing that infuriates me the most is that we told them, I personally told them, hey guys, BM Hunters have too much burst. Hey guys, Frost Mages have too much burst, and too much control, and too much defenses. Hey guys, Warrior City is stacking and their control is too much. Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys. Guess what? Here's what they did. They listened to all of us and did the opposite. Honestly, the only thing I'm actually grateful to this life is that the Blizzard developers are actually developing and um, balancing the game, not the real life. Imagine if the Ghost Brother would have been the presence of the United States. How fucked all we would have been that? Holy shit, just imagine for a second. Ghost Brother as a president of the United States. Ugh, I don't want to even think about it. Jesus Christ, that would have been, that would have been like, oh, that would have been a disaster, okay? Uh... But another thing I'm very, very grateful, it's probably the most thing is, I'm glad that the PvP balance team for Blizzard works for Blizzard. I'm, I'm really glad that they chose their careers to work for Blizzard. Imagine them being a doctors for a second. Imagine that, you're coming up with a broken leg and they're gonna give you heart surgery with their listening skills. That would have been very, very fucked up and embarrassing. So yeah, <sighs> furiates me. So... That's uh, that's kind of a rant about the Blizzard, trolling Blizzard. Now let's talk a little bit about the likes and the video response and all that stuff. Um, guys, for those who are new to my channel, I did make a community, create a community of small YouTubers, give them a few likes, show them how to do proper tags, uh, spend like probably over 100 hours in general for uh, helping them out. And I think the community is still alive, but... They kind of, of course, turned down their activity a lot, but I still see some chat coming up. So, I did help them out, and I have no problem helping the smaller guys. But the biggest problem I have is when the people ask me to like their videos. The very first one I have, and I'm sorry, this is me talking, this is... If you guys know my channel, if I don't like something, I straight right away, I don't like to sugarcoat it. So, I'm sorry, but here it goes. If the video is shit, even if I'm gonna like the video, the video is still gonna be shit. If the video is shit and you add together to the top to it, it's still gonna be shit, okay? If if there's a shit on the ground and you put a perfume on it, it's still gonna be shit. No matter how much you're gonna try to hide it or masquerade or whatever it is. And this is the thing about it. If the video has way too loud obnoxious music in threes and I have no idea what is happening and I'm not even and I have no idea heard about that person, no about no achievements in their game. Why should I like this video? The thing is, the thing is, I really like my subscribers. And it's not even from being me being egoistical, but if my subscribers, <clears throat> when, I, when my subscribers see Reinhardt liked this video, Reinhardt uploaded this video, you know what I think, you know what I want them to first come into their mind? Oh shit, Reinhardt liked this video, Reinhardt made this video, this video should be a really good quality, I should come and check it out. This is my thing. When it comes to my vlogs, I'm actually thinking about what I'm gonna do about my vlogs, not just randomly talking about it, trying to make them funny and interactive a little bit, just so they're gonna be worth your time. So I'm not gonna promote a video that's not worth my subscribers' time, in my opinion, just because you could get a like. But that's not even the biggest thing. Is if people put out a really good like um, editing in there, very good audio, a lot of people miss, miss up on the audio, 
really good audio, decent music. They also gonna uh, just put a really good amount of effort. And if it's a guide video, it's a big plus in my hand because I believe in the free sharing information from the bottom of my heart. But that's right here because it's inverse. Um, yeah, I completely agree and I completely understand that and I have no problem with that. The biggest problem I have right now is when the people ask me, hey, here's a video response for you for one of your videos. Hey, here's a like for one of your videos. Can you throw me a like? Can you and here's the first thing I do. When the person asks me for a like, I check out the video. And the video is uh, mediocre. Uh, it's it's decent, but like if you want a promotion for your video, you this is the first thing. When the person wants to promote their channel and if the bigger channel is gonna like their video, the video has to be pretty damn good. The, the one main reason is because when the person likes that video, people will watch that video and say, oh shit, it's a really good video, let me subscribe to the channel because this guy has something going for him. If the video is crap and I'm gonna like it, it devaluates me, personally. But if the video is awesome and I like it, it kind of brings up my value a little bit too. So, but anyway, so the video is mediocre. I'm like, okay, well, let's take a look. And I'm looking at the channel's feed and he would like um, tits, the internet tits, the, the, the elusive internet tits, tits. The, the shit that doesn't make any sense to me. So subscribe to the other channels. Have all this feed clouded for one month. Uh, have like all the other channels that like I found very distasting, but I'm not going to be judged. If he finds it fast, awesome, cool. So I see all this feed. He liked all the other videos and everything and didn't like a single one of my videos and asked me for a like, the, the true Russian inside me asks, why the fuck would I want to like your video if you don't like my videos? It's simple mathematics, it's simple courtesy. If the person doesn't do anything uh, good for the other channel, why did the other channel have to be doing good for him? But Reinhardt, you have 12,000 subscribers, I have 200, you don't need the like. What? Everybody needs likes, everybody likes likes. Likes means people like your content, like they want to bring their friend, they want to show it to you. Likes means a lot for every channel, no matter how many subscribers you have. And if person doesn't have enough courtesy to like the other channel, especially if it's a bigger, have bigger subscribers than him, and ask for promotions back from that channel, yes, it's gonna happen. It's not. When I collabed with the cartoons, when I collabed with Hotted, with, um, you know what I did? I got, I, I got my ass to the store, I bought some gear, and I sold, and I was giving away that. By the way, the giveaway <coughs> announcement is going to come up this Monday. And I chose the, from the comments from the uh, 2v3 demo log. So, I did a giveaway. And I also said, you have to subscribe to the other channels to make it fair for them. Guess what the other thing is? When the Swifty said, hey, Reinhardt, thank you so much for showing me the um, Druid Supersonic Speed. Guess what happened? I talked to him about that. I gave him the idea. He's like, oh yeah, cool, let's do it. Because... I think that video for Swifty Challenge is going to be amazing because it does show like outside the box. And this is what Swifty has been knowing, is showing a lot of videos outside the box, like burst videos, like the biggest hit video. Those like a flash of awesome videos. Cool. So I was like, okay, yeah, that's awesome. Um, and then I spent about three to three and a half hours trying to record the footage with him. And that's when he gave me a call out because I did something for him. I didn't ask for something from him while I'm not producing any value for him. For example, Kranos. Kranos liked my videos, he, he bumped my channel, and I've been playing with him for a long time. That's the reason why I actually promoted his channel. So, this is very short and simple. If you want a promotion out of me, <coughs> and please, 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 do me a favor, don't jump on it. I don't want to have 100 people posting me. But if you think that you have a lot of skill in the game, if you have a good editing skills, if you can make a really good guide videos, and good audio and stuff, and you like my videos and promote my channel, I have no pro problem promoting your channel. Because this is the core, how the core is, it works. It doesn't go like, give me some, please give me what you have, and I'm not going to give you anything in return. It doesn't work that way, unfortunately. At least in my perception, in my eyes. Either you love me or you hate me, this is how I look at the things. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And... Thank you for watching everybody and do svidanja my friends.